Before we conjugate the verb ser in Spanish, I want to talk about its conjugations in English, to be, am, are, is. As you can see, when we're using the verb to be in English, we need to change it depending on the subject. We say, I am, we don't say, I is. If you saw a sentence that said, he are good, at soccer, alarm bells would immediately go off because you know that R does not correspond to he. We would say he is good at soccer because is is the correct conjugation of the verb to be for the subject he. Similarly, in Spanish, we must conjugate our verbs depending on the subject. In Spanish, our subjects, which correspond to I, you, he, she, we, you all, and they, are yo, tú, usted, él, ella, nosotros, vosotros, ustedes, ellos, ellas. It is important to note that usted and ustedes are the formal second person subject pronouns. What does that mean? <laughs> so if you're talking to somebody, you say you, right? I'm talking to you, so I'm saying you. Well, in Spanish, we need to distinguish between familiar you and formal you, or familiar you all and formal you all. For example, if I'm talking with Mr. Small, I'm going to use usted because it's more formal. If I'm talking to my BFF Joe, I'll use tú. It's a familiar conversation. If I'm talking to Mr. Small and Ms. Lyle, I will use ustedes because it's formal. And if I'm talking to my BFF Jill and my brother, I will use vosotros, vosotros, because it's familiar. I have a more personal relationship with my BFF Jill and my brother, so I'll use vosotros. Now that we've gone over the subject pronouns, let's go over the conjugations of ser. Soy, eres, es, somos, sois, son. These conjugations correspond to these subjects here. In this column, we have singular. And in the second column, we have plural. This first line is the first person. That's the I perspective or the we perspective. The, the second line is the second person. And the third line right here is the third person. When we're using the formal language, so usted and ustedes, it's second person because we're talking directly to that person. However, we're going to use the third person conjugations for them. So usted, you, is second person, but we'll use is. So we have yo soy, tú eres, usted, él, ella, es, nosotros, or nosotras, somos, vosotros, or vosotras, Sois ustedes, ellos, ellas, son. Remember, in Spanish, we need to make sure that our noun is the correct gender and number. So if we are talking about a group of women, 
If I am a part of that group of women and I say we, I would use nosotras. If I'm talking about a group that I am a part of and there are some men, I would use nosotros. It is important to note that we do not always need to use our subject pronouns with our conjugated verbs because they are conjugated such that our subject is generally obvious. If I say, soy profesora, I can only be talking about me. Soy is the yo form. I am me. So I'm only talking about me. There is no room for confusion there. So I can just say soy. I don't need to say yo. I can say yo for emphasis, but sometimes it gets redundant. Same with eres. If I say eres estudiante, there's only one you. I don't need to put tu eres because eres is only the conjugation for you. So that is obvious. However, when we get down to the third person, I might need to specify. For example, es buena persona. Who's a good person? Oh, he is. That guy. El. Javier is buena persona. Or maybe it's Susana. Ella is buena persona. But as we can see with es, it doesn't explicitly show us whether I'm talking about him, about her, or maybe I'm talking to usted and it's a formal conversation. So for the third person, I may need to specify if it's not obvious from the context. Ser is also used for origin and possession in Spanish. And in order to express these things, we will need to use the preposition de. When talking about origin, we would say, for example, yo soy de los Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos, los Estados Unidos de América con Missouri, con Kansas, con Texas, con Maryland, los Estados Unidos. Yo soy de los Estados Unidos de América. Or, Paco es de Baltimore. Mi ciudad favorita es Baltimore. Y Paco, él es de Baltimore. Or, possibly, nosotros somos de California. So here we can see we use de, and location, and that is how we express origin, where you are from. And these all answer the question, de donde eres, de donde es, de donde sois. When talking about possession in Spanish, we are not going to use apostrophe s, like in English. We're going to use de. Es el coche del doctor. Son las perlas de mi mamá. La mochila es del señor Galán. La computadora es de la señora Galán. I never want to see apostrophe S or S apostrophe when you are writing in Spanish. I never want to see it. You are always going to use de or del. So when do you use del? Del is the combination of de and el. So if we were going to follow de with the masculine singular definite article el, such as el doctor, el señor galán, we're going to merge de and el to become del. And we only do that with el. Not la, not los, not las, just el and it makes it a whole lot easier to say.